Good afternoon, Yushi, and uh, thank you for coming. And first of all, congratulations on your reappointment as uh, the, the chairman of study group 16, the, uh, the well-known winner of ITUT's uh, only uh, primetime Emmy Award. Yeah. Thank you very much, Toby. Uh, it's all to my colleagues and uh, my management team and also reporters and also the uh, delegates and especially the support from TS TSB. That is very useful for me and I'm very happy to continue my work to, in this new study period. In fact, the, 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 the primetime Emmy came in the study period before last. Yeah. So maybe you can start by giving us an idea of some of the highlights of the last four years for you. Yes. Uh, among our basic work on multimedia coding and uh, H303, 23 uh, gate uh, systems and also the uh, network signal processing. Uh, the big achievement in our work is, first is the uh, uh, consolidation of the H264 recommendation, and it has now get into the next step of the collaboration with also with MPEG, and I, I will later touch on upon it later. And also, uh, the, another big achievement is uh, on IPTV family H700 series recommendations, and uh, we have so many uh, family recommendations. And also, yeah, we are proud to lead the interoperability event and uh, showcasing in this study period. And I will also touch upon it later. Yes, in interoperability has been a feature of, yeah. uh, of ITT's work over the period, but Study Group 16 has been, has been very active there. Is that something that you plan to pursue into the next study yes. period? We have already uh, held four interop events and seven showcasing, including this time. And already we have uh, received several requir requirements or uh, invitation to do worldwide. So we're sure to continue the, uh, this kind of activity in the next study period. Uh, and do you think it will extend beyond the IPTV series of recommendations? Uh, or, or, or is it, uh, will it stay within it, that? It, it depends boundaries? on the uh, requirements and of the, from the market. But uh, yes, we are also discussing something for example, uh, whether it is interop event or workshop or on interoperability or something like that for, for example, the echo cancer or such kind of uh, speech enhancement or something we have already discussed. Two, two other no, uh, uh, areas of, of work that I know that you were working on in the last study period, which were interesting, I think, were um, uh, telepresence and digital signage. Yeah. Perhaps you can tell us a little bit about those yes, two areas. Uh, we have uh, already started the telepresence uh, question in last study period. And regarding the digital signage, uh, we have already included it uh, in, uh, st started it in uh, IPTV question, but in this study period, we will uh, separate the question for as an independent question and enhance it not only for IPTV case, but also for other uh, case. So on these aspects, uh, we will make achievement, I'm sure, in this study period. Very good. Are there, are there any other areas that you'd like to highlight yes. that, that we're going to be that you're going to be working on from from now until 2016? Yes. In this new study period, I think that very important thing is the collaboration with other bodies. And one example is uh, already uh, we have been working with MPEG for video coding, and it will be enhanced to high efficiency video coding. It will soon coming up, and we have already set up new uh, collaboration team for. Uh, scalable enhancement and also the 3D enhancement. And the other is a, a collaboration on ITS standards. And this uh, collaboration is a consolidated uh, standardization activity among the many SDOs and regional SDOs and forums. So this is a very unique uh, collaboration because most of the collaboration we had was uh, uh, 
bilateral collaboration, but this time it's a multilateral. So it should be very important and should be very difficult or <laughs> complicated work, but I think it demands of the market. Uh, of course, by ITS you mean intelligent transport systems. And, uh, and this, is, this is an interesting area partly because we're starting to see some participation now from the, uh, from the vertical sector, so from the car industry, the vehicle yes. manufacturing industry yes. is participating. And also the regional STOs. Yeah. So it's a very important project Good. for the next step period. Okay, well, I, I think that's an excellent summary of okay. both your uh, previous work and, and your ongoing work. And so congratulations again. Thank you very much thank for joining us here this afternoon. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.